Hi, I am Dr. Madanki and I am going to be taking you through a video tutorial on how to self-administer your IVF injections during the process of stimulation. You are always going to be prescribed these in the injectable form because they cannot be taken orally and they come in the form of pre-filled pens and injections. Also, it is important to know how to store them. They should be stored between 6 and 8 degrees in the fridge section of your refrigerator and not to be frozen. It is a challenge for most of you to be able to do this on your own, which is why we are taking you through this tutorial. Although we do have our nursing staff who can administer these injections in the clinic premises on a daily basis, but during Sundays or public holidays, it is important that you know how to do it yourself because these injections cannot be missed and have to be taken daily. So before we start, you must wash your hands clean, dry them and then take the pen out of the fridge. But you also need to keep your prescription alongside and check the actual dosage that you have been prescribed because you cannot afford to make any mistakes with the dose. Make sure you know your dose and then you have to set it in the display window here. And how would you do it? By turning the knob clockwise. Suppose the dose that you have been prescribed is 75. So the display window here should display 75. In case you go over, if you if you've turn the knob more and you overshoot, then you can always turn it back to 75. Now that you've set the dose, the next step is to open the cap, keep it carefully next to you. You can see the cartridge here and then we have to fix the needle. My sister here has given me this needle which needs to be fixed on top here. And how would we do that? We need to first remove the cover and screw it tightly on top of the pen. Then remove the plastic cap. Inside you will see another protective sheath which also needs to be removed carefully and we keep them carefully. So you can see a very fine needle inside. Now comes the actual step of administering. Which is the site? The site to be administered is usually on either side of the umbilicus leaving three finger distance. I will now ask my sister here, nursing staff here to help me and we will show you how to do it. So from either side of your umbilicus, either three to four fingers on your right or on the left, you need to first clean the area using a swab but with saline and not alcohol swab or spirit. So once you've cleaned the site, make sure you pinch a little bit of the skin and the needle has to go in straight at 90 degrees but make sure you have your thumb on top of the knob here so that you are able to press once the needle is under the skin. These injections are always to be given subcutaneously under the skin. So once we've pinched the skin the needle goes in straight, you wait for a few seconds and you push the knob in. And after you've done that, you wait for a few seconds. Do not pull out the needle immediately. And then you need to turn the knob and close it. It will show that it has come to zero, which means that the dosage that you have been you have selected has been administered. Then you need to cover the protective, use the protective sheath to cover the needle tip and the plastic cover both and unscrew the needle from the cartridge and pull it out. Keep it separately, put the cap back in and it goes back into the fridge. Meanwhile, it is very important to dispose of the needle very carefully so that it doesn't come in contact with anyone. Now, it's very important to understand that these are very very sensitive injections they have to be stored carefully and also administered in the proper way 
only then we would get the full benefit of the stimulation process i hope this is very clear to you now and we will also be making tutorials in the regional languages hindi and bengali for the benefit of those who understand those languages better thank you so much sister and i hope you find this useful